Hello everyone, I'm Susan Budge and this is my daughter Madison. Hello. So she's going to be joining me for today's episode. Am of... I joining you or are you joining me? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I'm joining her. It's her craft, not mine. <laughs> <laughs> you did ask for my help though. I did. You did. Mother knows best. <laughs> so we, she needed a, she wanted a pot. Mm -hmm. um, she's got a you know, a plant in her bedroom need to re repot my plants. Yes. And so she was like, uh, she's decided to get a pot and I can't remember whose idea was it. I said, let's paint that sucker. Yeah. Cause I couldn't find any other pots that were big enough that were cute. Yeah. So they have these like terracotta pots and they're fine. They're just orange. So <laughs> <laughs> that was the problem for me. <laughs> um, so we are going to be doing just that. We are going to show how we recommend painting this terracotta pot using the designer templates in a fun. new way. I have not done this yet. Me either. You haven't done this yet. <laughs> so we are going to take you along that journey as we play to create um, for this project. Mm -hmm. And we had a lot of fun. We went to Hobby Lobby. We did. Hopping into Hobby Lobby. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hop, hop. In the puddles. Always yeah. fun going to Hobby yeah, Lobby. Yeah, always fun going to Hobby Lobby, getting distracted, and we picked up the terracotta pot. Very reasonable price, may mm -hmm. I add. Okay, going for a terracotta pot, acrylic paint, paintbrush, and, and a sealer. sealer. We got this. The goal is to come in with a list and leave. See, that's what I'm saying. You can't get distracted in Hobby Lobby. Go in with the list, stick to the list. All right, so terracotta pots, they're over by the other sides of the floral planting. On the right side of the well, every store is different, but yes, they're pretty basic, but we're gonna turn it into one of a kind. So let's pick one. You need a bigger one? Oh, only $5.99 too. That's really great. And then probably you need a dish as well. The only other supplies that you will need is you will need some acrylic paint mm -hmm. here. All right, acrylic paint. Lots of options here. And she picked up very neutral colors. Yeah. She decided. I changed my bedroom up a lot, so when I get bored, I like redecorate. So I kind of wanted a pot that I could hopefully bring into. To no matter her. color schemes. Yeah, yeah, to go with her in different um, in moods and styles yeah. that she chooses throughout a while. Because the plant yeah. stays with you for a while. For like 10 years. If you do it right. If you do it right. I was about to say, plant doesn't we'll stay see. with me at all. Plant stays with me for like two months and it's dead. It's gone. <laughs> so I'm like, come home with me so I can kill you, <laughs> basically. No, I these these girls have a green thumb and I'm really yeah. appreciative of it. I don't know what I'm going to do when they move out because oh. their plants are going to have to go me. with you. Yeah. <laughs> Did you water my plants today? Did you water my plants today? You'll have to call and remind me and I'll be like, oh shoot. Um, and then of course you need some type of sealer, but we ended up just deciding to go in with the spray painting one, just purely for simplicity. Yeah. You know me, I love simplicity where Quick. I can find it. Yep. So um, we did that and we just used a 40% off coupon on that and it seemed, to, well, we'll see, we'll see how it works out. So yep. let's go ahead and show you guys how our, what our thought process let's is. Do this. All right. All right, so as you can tell, it's a pretty big pot. So what Madison is doing right now is she is deciding, go ahead. I'm just kind of trying to decide what I want to do here. The great thing about these is that nothing's perfect. <laughs> Which Not is great, yet, for, great for a person like me who's very indecisive. But I do love that the templates can bend and mm -hmm. work around with you. And then we're probably going to take, um, some put our washi tape. You can do painter's tape, but why I didn't want to go grab painter's tape when I have washi tape at my disposal and I'm going to use what I have. Mm -hmm. So then we'll tape it around. So really what she's doing is just deciding on a pattern that she feels um, that she wants to kind of go with and then we'll show you kind of painting each one of those. So you could even just do the repeat of these two templates over and over and over again. I don't think I want to go all the way up. Oh, you're going to keep some of it on I think orange? I just want it on the bottom. No. Oh, I'm gonna you're going to paint the Yeah, top. I'm going to have the base color. Okay, so then you're going to want to do that first. So yeah. you're going to paint the top base. Mm -hmm. That's good to know. I wasn't quite sure what you had in mind. Okay. I think that would be really cute. So you're going to paint that top first. And I would even go inside the just pot a little. Bit. Yeah. Yeah, just like around. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't need to paint the whole bottom. Though. I don't think so either. And then even on your, outside. your bottom piece yeah. right here. Just paint the bottom seeds, and I actually read that it's actually good not to paint the inside. Yeah, for moisture. Because then the water reasons. will mm -hmm. uh -huh, go through. Definitely. So, okay, okay, let's start there. So, 
So we've, well, Madison painted the top part. Painted the top. The color she wanted. She noticed that the sticker was still sticky. Should have used some Goo Gone. So if that happens, I would recommend using some Goo Gone before, but it'll dry. It'll be fine. Okay, so what we're going to be using is the designer templates. I did test it out, so I have a little paint on it. And yes, this will come off. Mm -hmm. Baby wipes will do the trick, and I'll show you that here in a minute. But we wanted to test it, which is what we did. Um, so now we're going to show you how that works. One thing I will point out is you, first she was deciding she liked this one, uh, the Funky Frills 4. But this is not an AB pair. Like, they don't work together. So I was telling her she really needs to pick... Well, it would be a lot simpler if she would pick um, AB patterns. It does have an AB. Here's the other side, like so. And um, so what you're going to do, okay, is we are actually going to... We want it high because you're not going to be able to see your bottom. Yeah, so probably what I would do is actually start at the bottom well, and move your way up. And you have this on... Mm -hmm. It's gonna so cover you want to come it. up a little. I want it to come up a little so okay. I can actually see it. Okay, so let's take some of our washi tape right here. Mm -hmm. And let's go ahead and tape that on. All right, so now that we have that taped, we're actually going to be painting this section, and then we're going to go back and paint those two sections. Okay, so this line is going to give us this upper piece, and then we'll go back and paint the bottom piece. I'll show you that here in a minute. And we're just working on top of a trash bag, by the way. Yeah, just so we don't get it on the table. <laughs> I use trash bags a lot. <laughs> and go ahead and grab a new paintbrush. We'll wash them all, but that way that you don't have to get the colors mixed with each other. All right, so I'm just going to kind of try this out. We're testing this out, guys, so you guys are going to learn from our test and trial here. Now, I would say when you paint this, like I said, the paint will come off the templates. You definitely want to make sure to go, um, like paint right on the top of it. Does mm -hmm. that make sense? Just you do want to rub around those designs a little, um, but I would paint on top there. I feel like I'm holding that because I'm worried that there's not enough tape on that. Yeah, this washi tape isn't very strong. If you had like painter's tape, it'd probably be better. Yeah, I would prefer, or just use more washi tape. <laughs> Actually, that one's not that great, which is probably I don't why I don't use it as often. Okay, so when I get over here, now we're going to match those sides up. So I really just want to go straight to that edge of the template, right? And it's going to dry, so it does. you do need to be patient between dries. Put some music on, enjoy the process. And then go up as, how far do you want, how thick do you want this yellow part to be? Okay, so we'll paint just a kind of a, a good two or three inch strip right here. Yeah, and then we can cover it with the green. Yeah, and it, this one's a darker color, so it might not take as many coats, but you're gonna probably have to let it dry and take another coat. While that's drying, I will explain how you could do the other um, sections. So with the borders, the ABs, they are actually designed so that they line up on one side. So basically you'll take the other piece and you're gonna do this one now to repeat the pattern. So if we wanted to, we could flip it up. Flip it up. Let it dry. Maybe should have, uh, we could have taped all of them first mm -hmm. and just painted it while it was um, standing up. Right, so yep. you could add this other one on. Yep, I see that. And then um, at least have both of them, the, the strip, I guess, at least be drying at the same time. So we're just adding this standing up this way so that um, we're not rolling it and letting the paint get, the wet mm -hmm. paint get messed up. All right, so now that we have that taped, um, what I'm gonna do is actually, instead of painting like from the side, like this, you don't wanna push that paint down per se on that. So you really kinda of wanna come from a top, top view when you're painting this. So I'm just gonna tilt the pot a little and so that I can get right on top of the template and follow that design and paint that edge like so. 
Alrighty, so this part where you can see that the template ends here and the other one starts here, you could move the template over and just wait till it dries. I'm going to just kind of eye it. So I'm gonna go from this top wave, right? And I'm just gonna kind of take the tip of my paintbrush and just move it down to the other tip. And again, so see how she has a little paint down there? That's okay, because we're gonna take care of that with the next, the next uh, layer when we paint that bottom. So again, I'm just gonna go from here and just follow it down until the next wave. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead, now that that's dry, we're gonna take this off and we're gonna paint. Make sure it's dry, maybe go slowly just in case. Rip, no. Right. Um, so we're gonna kinda, take. That one bleed a little because we went from top down, but if you go from, see, that's kind of clean. It's really clean. And we're gonna take that off and paint bottom like okay. the blue gray color we have so now now that you have that bottom part so a little wet here but yeah okay. that's the one i was saying that yeah let's we really do need it to be dry so you might want to give it a moment and let it dry for a minute yeah again. so we're gonna pull this off and let the last little bits dry here that we can see and at that point you can go wash these i'll go wash them yeah just go take a um, baby wet and just in the sink just kind of wipe it down okay all right, so I just said I just kind of get it wet, yeah. I'm gonna scrub just a little bit, especially if it's dry, which it should be because you need it to leave it on for a moment. Can you see? Yeah, it's coming off pretty yeah. easy. Yeah. All righty, so now that that one is dry, this is what we're gonna do, and we have these washed. Good they job. They do look brand new. They look better than before. They had all these marks on them. No, <laughs> those are new ones. So what we're going to do is you're going to take, so for example, you're going to take the other A, B part. So mm -hmm. let's see, where did we match up here? Again. Yeah. So see how that was, um, okay. well, I don't know. Hold on. Oops. Might take a moment. Nope. Okay. <laughs> we found it. So you're going to find the spot like so. Now take the, so this is the technically where it used to be. Mm -hmm. And this is, a, so you're gonna put A over here. One B. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna match it up like that. Match Correct. It. Yeah. And you're gonna kind of line up with your paint marks. And then you're gonna take the next color. Yeah, well now you're gonna take that down. Mm -hmm. And then you'll paint this bottom color, another color. Correct. And that's why it's good to use like a- Light tape. So yeah, like off your paint tape or or these washi tapes, the same material kind of thing. So I'm thinking we actually want it to be up a little. I think it would be okay because you're gonna get almost this balayage feel, right? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna leave it up above. We're just gonna paint over the, the yellow? Yeah. Okay. That way there's no overlap on that. Okay, here we go. Ready? Okay. We're just gonna do the same thing, right? Yep. And this one's gonna need a couple layers just because it's a lighter color. Yeah, it's definitely gonna. So if you're not as patient, then choose dark colors. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so I just got done spraying the painted pot and tray with the clear polyurethane, which is gonna help protect it against wear and just scratches and stuff, which will come just from moving it around. But yeah, we're gotta let it dry but I think this is kind of the official last step well we are done you are done we're done we did it, <laughs> it was show long. us your finished pot um I did it and it's finished how long do you think that last layer took you the last layer took me a little bit longer because I messed up a little bit on the middle layer okay and so uh, then you had to like I had to redo this layer because I did this layer Realized this layer wasn't long, like big enough, uh -huh. and so I had to make it bigger and then redo the top. Gotcha. Um, so again, the trick here it. is to, of course, lay it down, paint your layer here, and then do your opposite, and then paint the bottom part, right? Mm -hmm. And then you would repeat that. So if I did that here and I was gonna use the same pattern or another double A and B, looks like you did two different, so you did it here again. Mm -hmm. And then you used, oh, Medicine. I used, I used the McKay Boulevard for the top. Oh, you used McKay? Okay. 
Let me see if it's right here. I can't remember what I used for the middle, but I know I used McCable Rard. Oh, you used Sunnybrook. Yeah, it's I used like, Sunnybrook. So you used Sunnybrook here, mm -hmm. and then you did that one up yep, at the top. Yep, McKay Boulevard. And then you, it was really fun. So it was Sunnybrook 1A1B here. Mm -hmm. You used Funky Frills 1A1B, mm -hmm. and you used McKay Boulevard 1A1B. Mm -hmm. So you did all 1As, 1Bs. Interesting. Yep. I kind of yeah. left her on that third layer yeah. on her own, so she was able to finish it up. Now you can really say that you created it. I did oh, it. It's yeah. mine. I it's cute. Sure. I love I love it's the colorful. character and of course again the fact that you did yeah. it. It's I colorful. Really I think it'll go well in my room and all yeah. future and rooms I, that it's in. But. Well and I think that's kind of fun because you could if you wanted to do like accessories or other mm -hmm. other things. You can get crazy with it. Yeah. I, I chose to do something more simple just because it's who I am. Yeah. But you could do literally anything. Yeah. Um I was gonna think of that. Like one of the thoughts I had was if you used Okay, so like this was one of the ones. In, oh, that would be cute. And um, that would be cute. Oh, <laughs> the Kiwi Mom, Club. I'm why sorry. didn't you say anything? Don't I was thinking, oh, this came in one of the Kiwi Clubs, and it would have been cute. Would've been you could have so just cute. again lay that down, and then you would just paint over, and you could do that all the way. You could do it at the bottom. <laughs> Things might change when you, <laughs> you haven't get it final yet. get final <laughs> photos, but oh, that would be kind of cute. Okay, well. We'll update you if anything changes. Anyways, um, so hopefully that inspire you, inspires you to use your designer templates in various different ways to create. Just remember to play to create and to have it. fun. Mm -hmm. Did you have fun? I did have fun. That's fun. good. And of course, now you can own that for a very long time. <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> the pot, yes. The plant, maybe. <laughs> Um, so hop on over to Hobby Lobby and that's all we did. We picked yeah. up the supplies there. Like I said, you're going to need, um, inspired. just walk down the aisles. And see yeah. what you can do. There's a lot of different, um, sizes too of mm -hmm. pots. We were walking away and I was like, mom, what if I could paint this too? They had vases for like inexpensive. There was really pretty like terracotta Bases, vases. Uh oh, maybe that you should just go get another I one. I might just go. Else. I've got some paint left. I might honestly, a lot of paint left. It didn't take much. I paint. might just <laughs> honestly go back to Hobby Lobby and get another vase or something it would else. be really cute yeah like i said very inexpensive mm -hmm. too so it's a fun project grab your daughter grab a friend grab a child child whoever you want it's your mom yeah create mm -hmm. along with them and just have fun and keep playing creating and connecting and hop on over to hobby lobby all right bye guys